Well, you're still going. You're doing your thing. Yeah. You, you, you put out Asher Zombies M3 Cloned, which, yeah. you know, here is Asher Zombies yeah. M3 Cloned. It's a great cover, and it is, you know, it, can, it continues in the universe of the Astro Zombies. And now you're also working on Astro Zombies M4. Tell me a little bit about M4. Okay. I want to say one more word about Demon Hunt. God you got bless it. Mac. He worked so hard. He got these flying demons for me. And I went to London with my lady Shanti, who is from England, and of course danced all over the world before she became a doctor. And um, so I went into, and I really hesitate to say where, because I went in everywhere without any permits or anything. And I shot inside of abbeys and so on. And we shot in places that are 1,200 years old and, uh, and walking through with the camera. Of course, I don't have a steady cam. I just, you know, the best I can to, to hold the steady. And that was not even my Z1U. It was uh, uh, an XL1, I mm -hmm. think, XL2, XL1. Anyway, so went any place we could that she thought would be of interest. I went to um, some of the places that you wouldn't dare, sure. you know, where, where they shot. You're borrowing the, shots. <laughs> <laughs> borrowing shots, but I shot a lot of graveyards, gravestones, and so on. And then Mac, with his CGI, would put in the flying crows, birds, vultures, sure. whatever. And I appreciated that what he did, which was very time-consuming. And he had to create those out of nowhere. And I wanted a demon that looked, you know, credible as a demon, not a Shrek type. I mean, a re anyway. So uh, Mac would uh, work hard on it. He'd apologize that he's. He's learning as he goes, but <laughs> but uh, so we ended up with that. So I've decided that I wouldn't have any CGI in Astro Zombie M3 because I couldn't afford the time mm -hmm. that it takes. And so we didn't have um, a CGI in M M3, but we've got programs that gave us some spectacular looks that were sure. instant, and that's what I intend to use on M4. You mentioned getting into M4. I want to use in M4 every update I can I can find whether it's newspaper TV I want to I want to involve the greatest and latest of all technology and I this cyberspace the thing I worry about is the thoughts I had a few two three months ago about cyberspace and so on every day we get closer to everybody thinking that see and that's what I'm afraid of I got to get in and shoot these ideas that I have gotta get it on yeah, tape before everybody else does it. <laughs> <coughs> so and uh, with my good friends between Shanti and uh, Richard Lester and, and um, Gary Lester, and if we get Corey Udler involved and, and so on, uh, to come up with enough far out stuff, you know, like right now, if, you, if anybody hasn't been to, to YouTube to see the teaser mm -hmm. where the Astro Zombie bursting out through the, the, uh, <laughs> through the computer screen. The computer screen, yeah. Now, Gary, I mentioned Heacock who is up in Portland, Oregon now, he's already con uh, working on computer screens that he can burst out where you see the bursting out. The oh, that's cool. Pieces. He's already working on it. So, <clears throat> And then uh, Michael Hago teaches uh, a video, and I wanted a hologram. He's the one that did the holograms. He had mm -hmm. never made one. But I remember 40-some years ago sitting with three attorneys that were going to take my films to, to TV and so on, and they had a hard luck story, too. They got... Um, th they had all of their money <laughs> taken out of their accounts by somebody who worked for them and split. And then another time they owed me money again from television showing of my movies, you know, like Strike Me Deadly and, and Girl Go Boots. And I think, I, I think they had three or four. And, uh, and then they got into trouble with the IRS. And they, so I, I missed out on the 200000 that they owed me then. It, uh, they had to bankrupt, so man, you know things like that. I yeah. I keep thinking if I had gone into anything else, real estate, anything, I'd probably be uh, able to you know, make my house payments. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, but what 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 is it going to take to do M4? Like, what, what's the plan? What's your schedule? We're starting to shoot on the 13th of March. Gary and Richard are flying in from Daytona Beach. Uh, he's bringing his uh, new D7 and all of the. Okay. Uh, all of the accoutrements. He's also just picked up uh, a, uh, a form of Steadicam, and I t told him, if you're going to be shooting with me and for me, learn to run with your, he's got a shoulder rig, not a real, see, I mean, it's a, 
it very, I think it was less than a hundred bucks. Mm -hmm. So you know it's not the conventional right, type right. of Steadicam. Anyway, so I said, just get prepared to run into rooms and round corners and know that I'm going to bounce light everywhere so we don't have the problems of severe, you know, dropouts in light and so on. And that's the best thing you can do because uh, uh, I want to move quickly. Uh, I haven't even started to cast, but everybody that has been in my old movies wants to be in this one already. I see you already got people it. here who be willing to be in it, so, <laughs> yeah. which is great. Can you give us a little tease of what, uh, you know, give us a, the, the log line of what M4 is going to be about? I haven't given it a catch line yet, okay. but uh, the invasion uh, of the Astro Zombies from cyberspace is going to be brought about through people misusing or using without knowledge of it the keyboard on a computer where certain input is triggering the communication between Astro Zombies and cyberspace who have gathered, they have gathered to say we're sick and tired of being <laughs> blown up and shot and all that. We're going to take a different approach. It's <laughs> obvious that the machetes chopping off <laughs> is not working. But you see, they can't talk. So I'm going to have to put a subtitle on the screen where they're going to be doing something like like that without any mouth movement. But their communication will be printed on the screen. Then we're going to have a whole room full of Astro Zombies who, other than the first four, are going to be cloned. You yes. know. And uh, they're uh, all realizing that when they get the signal, boom, they're through a computer screen. And then, of course, with the laser eyes, they'll be destroying Hoover Dam, Golden Gate Bridge. <laughs> right? <laughs> Blow up everything. Yeah. Blow up everything. Yeah, with the laser. laser eye. So that's, that's my plan. And uh, I don't want to start writing the script uh, other than the thoughts I've got, which I put in a little mini micro recorder so I don't forget all the things. But I have a, I have a theory about that. I used to take long hikes and come up with a whole storyline in a one-hour hike. You know, walk four or five miles or hour, two hours, whatever. Mm -hmm. And I would impregnate it so that I'd never lose. Then I could start typing my whole storyline. On this one, I don't, uh, uh, since I used to do it that way, I no longer do. I come up with all these thoughts. I'd like to have a shot like this, a scene like this. I'd like to see this action taking place. But I don't want to write it down. Not yet. Because after Christmas, after uh, New Year's, then I'm going to focus. And the things that I think are meaningful will come back to me. Sure. The things that are not meaningful that I don't need to put in the movie won't come back. And so that's the way my philosophy on doing it. The ones, the ones that have made an impression on me that I want to see in my head, that's what I'm going to put in the script. <laughs> that's great. Well, I got to tell you, we are all looking forward to <laughs> M4 production. And we're all looking forward to seeing the final product. And like I said, anything that we can do to help, we're more than happy to. You can tell people how to go to my website. Well, that's exactly what we do. So <laughs> I want everyone to know that you can go to Ted V. Michaels' website. You know, and it's tedvmichaels.com, correct? Right. Yeah, because there's no C in it. It's M-I-K-E-L-S. Right. right, we're going to put it on the screen for everyone oh, to great, see. Great. Because we do, we want people to go there because people should see their movies. You know, and it's so important to know that everyone wants to talk about Grindhouse, everyone wants to talk about going to drive-ins and seeing multiple movies. And back in the day, it's like people can get your movies and watch three of them in a row and have that same experience and appreciate everything that you've done. So we do. We want to encourage everyone to go to your website. Go to streaming. Go Yes, you can, you can stream everything. And then also could become a friend of yours on Facebook. True. You know, so it's tedvmichaels.com. Or, or AOL. Or, or AOL. Yeah, that's right. There, there's multiple ways that they can get to you. Well, you know, when I think about what's happening in the Midwest right now, I have friends there, uh, New York, snow so deep they can't even get out of the garage. They're not going to go out and buy a DVD, unfortunately. Alpha is so good, they put out about 250,000 catalogs two or three times a year. But there are people who can't get out to buy a DVD, or they don't have any money right. to buy it. But now they can stream any of mine for 2 bucks, two ninety nine, anything, and see it for seven days, 24 hours a day, as often as they and like. And they could all, all go hoping. to your website. But, yeah, but I have to find a way to tell people that this is available now. Well. We're going to help you do some of that. And I said, Ted, it is an absolute pleasure to be sitting down and talking to you. I wish we had another three hours of chat, <laughs> you know, but we're going to go. But thank you very much, oh, Ted. Oh, thank you it for having me, It was a great, me, great Chris. pleasure. Thank you very much.